What's up everyone and welcome to the US Women's Open, this video where I help my girlfriend bowl the US Open and become a little bit of a PWA ball rep for the week. And before I talk too much, let's get into day one, practice day. So you just saw pattern number one, which was 35 feet, 32 mils, which is right here. During practice day, I'm gonna keep track of kind of the bowling balls that we throw. And that way, when we go to bowl on them during the week, we know exactly what to throw, what happened during practice. So we have the pie, the absolute power, and you definitely have to get your ball to the gutter on the first pattern. Pattern number two, here we have 50 feet, 22 mils, so it's 10 less mils and 15 more feet. So they're gonna hook a ton, probably a ton in the middle of the lane, even though that's where you're gonna most likely have to play. But before I take too many guesses, let's get into pattern number two. So pattern number two, middle lane is in play. It looks like you need cleaner bowling balls, but you still need them to be smooth. So maybe the attention star will be able to be smoother with a little bigger core, the DNI coil maybe before that, the ion even before that. So now pattern number three coming up, we got 42 feet, 28 mils. Play should be a little similar to the first one, but a little extra length maybe to create some holds. So um, hopefully the scores are a little bit better on that one because um, the first two patterns look like they're gonna be tough. Pattern number three, the play was absolutely out there on the gutter or just left of the gutter, kind of in that 10 to five range. Balls that we're looking at throwing, once again, is gonna be the pie, the absolute power. If we gotta switch to some weaker balls, we're looking at the coil, the attention star for sure. The idle is a possibility you saw there at the end. That was all three patterns, that was practice day. And now we're coming at you day one on that short pattern. Let's see how it goes.
Just wrapped up pattern number one where Madison went 68 over with a huge 245 there on the end. The pattern was super hard, just like practice. If you didn't throw it straight to the gutter, you didn't really have a lot of room. So every time you missed in a little bit, the ball went high. And then on top of that, if you were throwing a super smooth ball, sometimes it would hook early and it wouldn't get to the gutter. So that was kind of the challenges with the first pattern. Madison's sitting probably 30 pins outside the cut, looking into pattern number two. She's 68 over as a whole, but the cut is probably going to end up just around 90 something to a, a low 100 over. She finished on a really good note. So hopefully going into pattern number two, she can continue that, pop some more big ones and find herself in the cut with another pattern to go. After pattern number two, Madison went 84 over there, which plus her at 152 over. She's currently in 24th place and they cut to the top 36. We got one more pattern to go, but like we talked about on pattern number two, she kind of threw some of those cleaner balls that were a little slower, like the coil. She threw the attention star and she ended up throwing the Vibo there all the way at the end of the virtual energy blackout for those of you who do not know. And they were once again, really hard because she was outside the cut around 45th. She only went 84 over, which is just barely a 210 average. And she ended up bumping from the mid 40s all the way up to 24. So we got one more pattern to go. This next pattern should also be super challenging. So hopefully she can find herself some more of those 240s and 250 games and find herself still in that top 36 after they make that cut after the next round. So let's get to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Madison absolutely killed them the last round. She went 222 over just on that pattern, which puts her at 374 over. She shot games of 190, and she went 227, 211, 254, 230, 196, 277, 237. So she had an absolute monster block averaging just north of 227. That puts her all the way up to 11th place. And they have eight more games to bowl before they cut to the top 24. So the fourth pattern will be the hardest. Madison gets to make some changes to her arsenal. However, I don't think she really will, but pattern four will be ridiculously hard. And hopefully we can bowl some more good games tomorrow morning in order to find ourselves in the top 24 match play portion of the tournament. <laughs> Thomas pattern number four was the absolute hardest yet. The top 36 women of the U.S. Women's Open, only 17 of them went plus that block. Madison ended up minus 37, which only dropped her a couple spots from 11th to 19th, still well within the top 24 cut as she was still about 100 pins ahead of the cut line. So she bowled plenty fine to get into the cut line. She made a lot of really hard spares. She made a lot of really good moves and a lot of really good shots. And sometimes they just don't fall for you. But minus 37 was a great score. She's got 24 games of match play to try and get into fifth. She is 337 over and fifth is only 474 over. There is 30 bonus pins for every match you win or lose. 24 games, which means there's 720 pins available, and she's only out of the show by 140. Hopefully I can help her kind of figure out this fourth pattern. They look super tough. Um, you kind of got to play the middle of the lane, it looks like. Nobody really played right, left. Nobody really scored that well, but the girls that scored a little bit better were playing deep, just where Madison was, so maybe a couple different bowling balls, maybe a little different hand position or a different speed, and we can match her up to crack this fourth pattern and get into the TV show. And now, I'll see you guys 
at the end of the turn. So that was the match play portion. Madison went 11, 12, and 1 with a tie there. She averaged probably just around 190, 195, somewhere in that range. Like I said, they were ridiculously hard. Overall, I am so proud of my girlfriend. She finished 21st overall at her first ever U.S. Women's Open. Um, I was glad I was there to witness, help, document for all of you guys out there and for her on her channel. So if you guys want to check out the detailed day-to-day -day of the U.S. Women's Open, you can go over to her channel. The link is down below. I'll put a link up top. 
So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll catch you on the next video on Friday. Thanks for watching. And until the next one, peace.